Hey, what's up ladies and gents? We're at Austria and local car show and for the first time checking the look at the new Smart uh, Hashtag One. So uh, Smart has been bought by uh, Volvo Group and separated from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, now they're also in partnership with a Chinese brand and they've uh, offered this. This is completely new Smart, fully electric. And I gotta say, it looks really stylish. I like the design and I really like the interior. Now, uh, we have here a um, metallic black color. We have beautiful daytime running lights connecting through the, uh, well, top of the bumper, no grill. Uh, LED lenses, Cyber Sparks LED Plus. And then, uh, in this case, uh, we have the side tunneling there, air intake to these little pieces. There's a radar there and a camera for a 360 parking. Since this is electric, this is completely closed. We have the smart on the top. And that's the car. It looks really elegant and gorgeous. Now, checking this angle. It just looks a little bit bigger. Now, checking the alloys, gorgeous uh, alloys. These are 235-45R19. Um, not sure if these are actually alloys or hubcaps. So, this, uh, well, this is the alloy and then this is the hubcap, apparently, for better aerodynamics. You also have on the bottom, that I didn't notice at first, this uh, plastic protection going all around and this little grave uh, finish at the bottom. Now checking here inside, you can see the heads of display speakers. Another one in the middle. There's a smart on the display on the back side. The latest is camera, light and rain sensor, and a sensor inside mirror. Now on the top we have the panda roof and slim aluminium roof racks extending to the end. So the roof isn't openable; it's just the panda roof. Now I've unpurposely left the doors open because the LED lights will turn off. Uh, we can see the profile here of the new Smart. And then you have this flush door handles. The driver's side has this dent, so you know what to push in. So, Smart badge and then uh, window kind of connecting, also tinted on the back. Ending with a really, really discreet spoiler, stoplight on the top. And then, like the Mini, it reminds me of the Mini Cooper with this chrome underneath the window trim. Now you can see also that gray trim there and over here is your charging port. So your AC for slow charging and uh, DC for fast charging, so CCS2 and Type 2. With a little smart light. Inside we have here the beautiful, gorgeous looking, look at this. Hex, so connected LED bar. Hashtag one, LED fog lights, little, also great finish just like on the doors and plastic discrete diffuser. Have the camera there and warm lights. Over here we can pop the bonnet and you can see also smart signature on the rear. So this is how it looks when it's open. So I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. So it's, it doesn't open too tall. So that's the perspective there. Uh, you can see here, you can close it electronically. It is plain on the top. There is an open uh, option from the inside. You can pull it here to close it manually. Electronics failed. You have a little shelf on the top here, rubber stoppers. You can, of course, remove that. You can put the umbrella here. And it looks quite um, decent space-wise but uh, also very small for a compact uh, car. So this is nice and flat carpet. And then you can fold this like that. You have the Beats Audio inside, if I'm not mistaken. And well, that's the space inside. You can put some storage inside. So around five fingers, well, a little bit more, six to this, and then maybe extra five to the bottom area. You can store some cables there. The other points are here. Have a little net here on the left warm light then this is flat and 
also all four sides to the point so that there and a full outlet on the right and grocery hooks there you can see also this so grocery hooks on both ends and seats knocked down 60 40 and you can open the uh, middle from the back so and I think this could tilt a little bit backwards but we're gonna see it from the other side let's close it up and then the car is really gorgeous looking but just a little comparison next to the AMG EQE 43 has a similar design in the taillights I like that now uh, all the way out of here just to read here 75 kilowatt uh, is the power now checking here press in then you have the smart here you can see that you have to pull and then frameless windows so this one's single glazed so the doors open okay fairly wide if you need to put a child seat now just checking the seals there's double ceiling there and on the inside so suggesting good soundproof this is soft nice big handles these are plastic keep it in aluminum finish on the speaker or plastic this is uh, very shiny and smooth power windows so the back one goes almost all the way down the big pockets uh, beat speakers very nice design language there you can lock here for the kids and then checking here smart aluminium and illuminated doorstep we have beautiful leather it's perforated with some contrast stitching there isofix are underneath and then you can pull the strap to I guess knock down the seats so after using two hands you can see here this is uh, basically flat you can put some stuff there and this is the view at the top so but then it locks into the position and you need to use a little strap to unlock the seats but here you can do it like this so there is also a seat belt buckle on the seat and there and let me put this back so checking inside you can see the panel roof and let's jump inside so uh, well the floor is because of the battery is very shallow uh, so you can see the feet room knee room now I didn't adjust the front seat because people were just trying to sit inside let's hear the closing sound so sounds good let me just check so it's good when they close all but the doors feel a bit shallow you can see air vents and when the driver doors is open you can see the ambient lights and but well lights are also ambient so you can see that looks very beautiful inside now we have the beat speakers in the back there and you can see nice big windows even a small one in the c pillar now once they close this in the back you can see also the back view and there is a armrest here so you can see leather and rubberized and adjustable so of course you can open this but uh, this is making some sort of sound maybe it needs a little dry loop and big pockets here so the seats do, do look like ones from the mercedes uh, in the past and you can see here slowly closing handles and with nice hooks and a little light you can press adjustable seat belts on the front and interesting seats now checking the back space very generous in space again two meter tall person 6.6 .6. so that is very impressive so people are impressed with the car and i'm gonna wait for them to browse and then get on the front very impressed with the smart uh, with the space and design so while i'm waiting for them i just noticed this uh, small detail look at this there's a little uh, smart and I'm not sure if this hat is a fireman's hat maybe not but it looks uh, interesting detail on the glass there but not to miss the mirrors you have the blind spot there um, I think out of them you should be an option there and you here have the uh, camera for the 360 parking no hazard there and then over here you can see you can press and there is a 
physical cylinder for the driver end. Front doors open even wider. And single, single glazes there. So you can see also the seals. Now this is all softly padded, white stitching there. Same as on the back. You can see this beautiful window controls and lock unlock from the inside with the ambient lights. So big pockets in there, but this is hard plastic. Uh, you can see here tire pressure information, smart aluminum doorstep that's illuminated. Pull twice to open the front. Carpets there, paddles, and you can see the seats. So leather perforated in the middle with white pieces. And of course you can control this electronically up and down. The knee area doesn't move and this is for the tilt and a lumbar. You can see the seats, you can adjust the height there and you can see the top view. Uh, lights you have here automatic, fogs, you can open or close cargo space and automatic lights or you can turn them off also beautiful ambient lights this is of course manual steering column adjustment so the adjustment is manual and you can see it is a little bit tight so let me just adjust here and get a little bit lower okay this seems fine let's close it up so wow this looks amazing let me switch to white lens so look at that. So this is point of view. I can see the front hood a little bit and it looks gorgeous. I love the screen. I love the graphics. Now, yes, this is kind of white shocking. Not sure if there's gonna be other interior colors, but it looks very beautiful with these ambient lights. Now this might be a little problem you're hitting here. This is hard, but everything else looks very nice. Good overview in the rear and the back. Let's come back so just a quick look at the steering wheel smart you have double leather there contrast stitching nice angles there flat bottom smart so this is a nice finish no piano black so I guess cruise options and self parking voice commands volume and so on there's a little uh, infrared sensors for driver monitor system wiper controls uh, parking drive reverse neutral and over here you can see vents you can see beat speakers illuminated and more detail there speakers that i showed you heads up display so it looks very gorgeous and then a uh, beautiful display look at this graphics and there's a little fox here keeps doing stuff there's a turn on and off ac controls uh, maximum below rear defrost driving modes and car options and hazards you can see the hazards there looks very beautiful and over here you can press so we have charging uh, pad two usb c's one's for fast charging one's for media twelve volt there and then there this there's this part covered by leather so there are two adjustable cup holders rubber mat you can put a phone here perhaps and over here it's covered by leather so this is supposed to be a bit soft but not too not enough this is plastic key, but you can see also ambient lights and lots of storage space. And then this is soft, you can press here so it goes up. And there's an AC here, so that's quite nice. You can cool your drinks. This is rubber ice underneath, very spacious. And not sure if you can store cables here or something similar, says charging card. So you can put, I guess, your charging bar there. And here's the glove compartment. Pretty spacious. One LED light. And uh, checking the top. So good overview. Uh, auto dimming. There's a little camera on the top here, if I'm not mistaken. There are touch lights. Cold. Emergency there. Maybe airbag information for the passenger or seatbelt glasses compartment with cloth inside and documents holder beauty mirror and let's see if this extends so yeah not but there's another documents holder there 
and uh, just to show you here headspace plenty of headspace so just to look at the display it looks beautiful it has all the necessary information like the range and percentage speed music and so on I guess you can maybe play with these now you can see the infrared sensors uh, so I discovered here you can change uh, from radio stations you can use this button to switch radio stations and then you can here switch from trip so you can see someone's driving the car you can see the power consumption there so once again odometer and press trip here to change so and this is for the volume so guys amazing touch screen with beautiful animations we have a little fox here if you press on it or on her I'm not sure if it's a girl or a boy but there you go there's a little ball she plays now over here you have the uh, shortcuts which look quite nice and well it's loading a little bit but the rest of the things work fast enough and there you go navigation so nice and fast charging stations parking spots I guess so these are like the shortcuts and then I guess the navigation but not sure why it's loading I have here some information like battery percentage range uh, temperature and tire pressure songs here well it's not working at the moment we have the climate options here huh windmill oh, fox there so let me just check again no oh, heated seats you can sink now there's two display options here we have the icons here I'm just checking here if we press here oh, that changes so this brings us to the um, car menu there's a pull down menu as well mirrors fold close all windows ventilate you can see all of that well I don't see the heads-up display working but yeah this is from the outside but so you can change here I guess preset up for the ambient lights now we have the uh, shortcut for the navigation music FM, DAB, USB. Three sixty. You can see that. Blind spots. You can choose a angle. So that's the home screen and then over here uh well we have the volume and the wi-fi hotspot and then over here we have the icons self-parking navigation spotify uh, let's see settings here so a lot of options you can see here the lights options opening closing mirrors doors heads up display you can use the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel to adjust the hud no, honestly, I don't see it, but actually here. Oh, you can see it now. There you go. Let me try to zoom in. You can see that. So that's the head up. Uh, it displays the a little, um, I guess, that's the brightness, position. So let me get back. So you can use these to control that. Uh, you have all the other options below you can see here have the ambient lights so you can have theme dual so you can see that driver mode and control the brightness i guess you can switch them off here 
So over here we have the rear fog lights, welcome lights, environment lights. Okay, it's so like leaving, coming home. And triple middle base. Driving assistance, so sound displaced. Sound connectivity, driving assistance, pause and read. Vehicle conditioning, steering power, so I think I saw like a recuperation settings and over here you have the energy so you can see that beautiful display and trip a trip b schedule you can warm up the battery and here you have heated seats there's a car shortcut menu at the bottom as well i saw somewhere the recuperation level but just can't figure it out so okay driving modes comfort eco sport love the animations though there's like go home navigation and then this is also car settings so these are like short shortcuts so here it is standard and strong auto hold your fog light, so these are like shortcuts, but e pedal. Love it. This is just gorgeous looking. The whole car is gorgeous. Maybe this is the only con, but everything else is perfect. It's very spacious and looks pretty cool. So that was it. Really impressed. And let's pop the bonnet. <clears throat> and let's check the front space. So, there's gas frets, I'm gonna back up here. And you can see here, just a little front space. I'm not sure if this is like first aid or something like that, but it's small. But at least you have some space for some, something you're not gonna use too often. And, <clears throat> It seems that uh, this is where the washer fluid is. So that's that. Not sure why it's covered and I guess coolant. So the rest leave it to the mechanics <clears throat> and let it drop so it closes perfectly. Once again, look with the lights off. <clears throat> and let's check the price tag. You can already see 45,900 euros. Um, so let me see here. So 200 kilowatts, there's 75 on the back, so I'm not sure. I think this is probably the, uh, the real power. So 200 kilowatts or 272 horsepower. Uh, v WVLTP range 440 kilometers. So I would say even if this has 340 kilometers of real range, this would be quite good. Uh, DC, DC charging 150. 10 to 80 percent 30 minutes ac up to 22 so that's a good has a fast on onboard charger 10 to 80 in uh three under three hours i guess and uh power consumption 16.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers that's pretty good power consumption metallic black color dark uh, matter interior out uh so we have here the 12 sensors uh, head up display tension, head up display, and a few other options like the Beats Audio high end sound system, uh, Halop panorama roof, ambient lights, and, and so on. Maybe dual, dual AC and 360 parking. So uh, I guess there's a few packages like Pro Plus, 42,400, launch edition, 47. 1200 and Brabus um, all 
round trip. I'm not sure if it's like all-wheel drive, 49,900. So uh, interesting, there's some also data there. So we get about uh, Brabus has a little higher power consumption, premium has this, and then the Pro this. I'm gonna put in the video link uh, technical details for this.